And, you know, <laughs> we used a circle die, too. Hey, y'all. APG Jamie here. And it's hashtag third Sunday prompt. Our prompts for this month is, is our turns and corners. <laughs> hey, y'all. This one made a lot of turns and corners. Okay? Okay. So, we've got a, uh, a styrofoam plate, because that's what I have, and I had a paper one. And it's a, roughly a nine-inch circle, basically. I mean, sort of, you know. So, anyway. Um, this is an open collaboration. You are welcome to join. Use the hashtag. Link to me if you want to. Don't if you don't want to. Tag me if you want to. Otherwise, I really won't, probably won't never see it because it's kind of hard to find some of this stuff sometimes. Even though I do recommend you follow the hashtag Third Sunday Prompt. It is an open collab and uh, next month for September 17th, our prompt will be Mind Your P's and Q's. Okay? Okay. So, um, I saw this on Instagram, I don't know, when we recently, and I thought, well, let's just give that circle pocket thingy a try. And basically, I thought I would just show you a circle pocket thingy. We uh, do have a bit of a, a thing toward, well, you know, we decorate. Well, sort of. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so we're using this big one. I don't know what size they used on Instagram. They might have said, I didn't read. I just watched the quick little video and thought, hey, I can do that. <laughs> oh, you know, it doesn't always work out quite, quite like you think it's going to. So I am trimming there, and I do come back and try to trim just a little bit more so it has easier uh, flip over and all that stuff. And I did not get my sides straight, so now I'm trying to refold that. And we fiddle for it around, and <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, all right. Which way do I want it? Because you can, if you use a blank in, you know, blank back piece of uh, this is cardstock, by the way, you know, scrapbook paper, cardstock stuff, and um. You know, you can use double-sided if you want. You just want to make, well, I guess if they're from the same pad and it's the same double-sided paper, it's going to work, right? Oh, bless my heart. <sighs> it's hot. It's August. It's hot. So, I've decided, I know, I'm up at the top of the screen a lot during this video. And that's just kind of how it's going to be for this video anyway. <laughs> So I'm trimming just a little more, trying to make a little wedge. I don't know why it wasn't necessary, but I did it anyway. Um, my paper did crack a bit. It's probably uh, die cuts with a view paper, it, or you know, scrapbook paper, whatever. It does tend to to crackish, and it's old, y'all. I need to use this stuff. I buy it because it's pretty, and then I'm like, I don't want to use it because it's so pretty. What the heck, people? It's just paper. I've already bought it. I mean, especially if I bought it five, ten years ago, it's almost free now, if you think about it. It's definitely a rock-bottom clearance price now uh, that I paid then. Well, I'm sure I, I'm sure I didn't pay full price for it to begin with. Anyways, <sighs> inking some places, and then I forget other places, and so on and so forth but you know that's kind of kind of the way i kind of the way i roll y'all turns and corners <laughs> we have some turns curves anyway and we're making corners i don't think did i round any corners i don't remember rounding any corners it's not to say i didn't i just don't remember it it's been a couple days sometimes it takes me a minute or five to uh get edited and i don't do the voiceover until after it's edited and this is in hyperspeed this was um, a two, three hour project, probably, just because I fiddled around a lot. Y'all know, you know how I am. I like to fiddle. I don't play the violin. I just like to fiddle. Hi, right, y'all. Anyways, I know I could say that all day long. Anyways, just saying. Right. So I took the same plate and I'm trimming it down. And it makes an approximate six inch circle. 
Oh, the uh, I measured that previous nine inch circle pocket ended up being roughly four and a half inches wide by five and three quarters tall. Because I know somebody's going to ask or wonder or be chorus. And uh, that plate does have a slight lip, you know, where it curves up the side. So I'm trying to trim that off. It's not necessarily a perfect circle, but it's perfect circle enough. Okay. Now, the finished pocket on this six inch circle comes out to approximately, well, mostly three inches by three and a half inches. Uh, I folded it, the, the pocket up just a little bit more than I did the first one. So, I mean, it's not quite exactly the same. And this time I'm going to try to use the scoreboard. <laughs> Hey, y'all. Measurements, you know, rulers ain't the boss of me, but it kind of leaves me with measuring issues. Ah, uh, y'all. Just, just saying so. I'm like, well, that's going to be too, too folded over. You remember those burritos that we made? The stuffed burritos? I don't know when it was. It's been a while. If I can think about it. Oh, link to that. No, it's, it's a circle and it folds over on the sides like this guy okay? somebody just went on to fold it and I'm like I'm not even gonna worry about that little overlap right there I'm just gonna go for it so uh, someone thought well I'll just flip up the bottom and I'll get me a multi pocket pocket okay because that's basically what it is a multi pocket pocket as you can see it's not quite halfway but almost I did not measure how deep each pocket place was but you know it ends up being a finished size of this one of three inches by three and a half inches. I already, I already said that. I know. I know. Anything worth saying once is worth saying a thousand times if you ask my mother. <laughs> uh, no, she hardly said anything anyway. So, again, I'm having a slight issue. I guess because when you fold it, it gets the little bulky parts and then, you know, it just kind of that way. I could have used a pencil. Could have drew lines and then cut that way. That might have been better. There's an idea for you. So I'm just trimming around. I'm like, yeah, just little slivers. Just little tiny slivers. And I'm like, yeah. That's cool. And I do like the the white inside. So, I mean, you know, if you don't like the white, you can ink or collage or whatever. Or, you know, if you want to. We're not doing that. My my basic thing was I was making these pockets because that was that's what my project was was to be just to, to make these pockets and give you some different measurements and stuff. <laughs> uh, we go on to, to finish out the project. So see, there's the size difference. It's quite a quite a big difference considering there's what just three inch uh, three inches. Yeah, we went from a nine inch to a six inch circle. And this is a die cut circle, and it's uh, about four and a quarter inch circle, okay? Um, I do have a list of ingredients in the description below the video. If I have any links to share, there will, they will be there as well. So, I would request that you click on them, like them, kind of comment them, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to them, okay? And, um, also check, check the other platforms for the hashtags because, you know, you can just do photos of your stuff if you want to. You know, the prompt this month, like I said, is turns and corners. Interpret that however your artist brain wants to interpret that. Okay? Okay. So, for this four and a quarter inch circle, my pocket comes out to two and a quarter by two and three quarters okay so this one's basically just two inches smaller than than the six inch circle but it all depends on how you fold up your bottom pocket you know because you got two corner tucks a pocket in the middle and then a pocket in the back and if you glue it to your page you will have an additional pocket just saying so, I, I mean, you know, there, there's lots of room for interpretation and changing things. So, this is the envelope from that uh, die, die set that I first showed you at the intro picture. Okay, okay. And that's listed in the ingredients below as well. 
So um, we're just going to close that up. And it just so happens, <laughs> quinkadinkily, serendipity, y'all, that the smallest little pocket thingy slips in there. It just needs a little, little different fold at the top, but you know. They're pretty close. And I'm like, well, do I want to put it in this way? Do I want to put it in that way? What way do I want to do it? And I'm like, I don't know. So I've gathered out some bits of ephemera and stuff. And these are some old border pieces. Y'all know I really want, I want to use the stuff that I bought because it was cute. Or I found on clearance. Or was gifted to me. Whichever the case may be. So we're going to use that there border. And uh, we actually use it in a couple places. It's nice. It's got some corners. See the little corners sticking up? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to add it to the little tiny pocket. Because it, this one's, you know, it's just basically the same. It's just a tiny size. Okay? Instead of big, it's tiny. And, I, and mostly it's going to depend on what size of a journal you put it in. If you're putting it in a journal, you don't have to put it in a journal. You can just make it and send it out in heavy mail if you want to. So we got out all this stuff and we've gone into hyperspeed because it's a lot of stuff. And I'm trying on these. These are stickers from the Amazons. I, I don't know the links or anything like that, y'all. Um, and I end up liking the colorations. And the one package up there in the upper left are Asian, you know, uh, looking girls. And then these down here are more everybody else. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to say it. Anyway, I'm trying them on, and I don't want the ones with coats, and mostly don't want the ones with jackets, because it's just too hot for me to think like that right now, y'all. Just, just saying. I mean, July and Christmas was was a tough one as well, because it was just pretty hot in July too. But at least the air conditioner worked in July. Anyway, <laughs> not so much in August. So, um, now we're getting out to the little Asian girls. And some of them, I'm like, you know, I'm, I, I want kind of matchy, but not so that it just disappears into all of it. So, flipping through them all, flipping through them all. And at some point, I get out other ephemera bits. And it's just various ephemera bits from various places. And most of it i wouldn't even know the manufacturer it's going to be probably graphics 45 graphics 45 yeah graphic 45 uh tim holtz um Kane company uh whatever from amazon's i don't know y'all and i ended up deciding on these two asian girls each one has a guitar i thought well that's kind of clever i should have put some music paper in there i could still put music paper in there you just wouldn't see a picture of it but, you know, I could do that. So, and you might want to kind of comment on this um, video. You just might want to do that. Just a suggestion. A loose suggestion. No guarantees, y'all. Just don't never know how I'm going to feel about stuff. Anyway, because they are stickers, and I don't want to stick my pocket and or tuck closed... I am uh, adhering them down onto a piece of scrap cardstock that I've used for other purposes. Because, you know, <laughs> what makes a scrap sometimes? And um, so we're going to trim them all out. You didn't need to see all that fussy cut business. It's not an exact fussy cut. But, you know, it's close enough. I did trim around her bottom foot ankle area just a little too much. Because I'm like, oh, it's got a gap. It's going to bother me. So then I glue a piece of teeny tiny piece of paper, no, same cardstock, on the back just to cover up that little gap. And as it turns out later on, I know I'm going to spoil the surprise. I didn't necessarily need to do that. Uh, but that's okay. Got it done. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna sit. It's gonna look like she's sitting on the side of a hill. That's the story in my brain. She's sitting on the side of the hill, and this other girl's like, I don't know if I want to sit on the side of the hill with you. I might just want to stand here and pose for pictures. So, that's probably what she's doing. What's going on? 
space we could have cut out. I don't know what's going on. What was I even doing? I don't even know what I was doing. So, here we are. Moving on. Oh, we're fixing a glue, but I don't want to glue my little corner tucks right there down. Okay? So, I'm just loosely pencil lining on the back of the images. And, you know, glued them on here. And then if I need to glue a little bit more, I can I can do that. But I don't want to glue my pockets shut. So I'm using my little palette knife there that's handy dandy right here, you know, on my right. Uh, just to make sure I didn't glue it down. And, and I did really good on that one. This other one is going to be just a little bit, you know, different. And then I go to glue it down and I'm like, wait, I want to kind of make her foot kind of stick under and over our little corners down there, you know, our little border trim just a little bit so that it's kind of like tucked in there and that's what I'm saying see I could have left that little ankle thing off so and it's hard to tell on my little editing screen I know I haven't said that for a while oh I got glue under there dang it Dale Dale with a D-A-L Dale um so anyway we got that pretty well cleaned up and I'm like yeah make sure that one's not and I got these stickers and I thought, oh, isn't that going to be beautiful? Because I'm thinking about, I'm liking the red lines on the matte paper. Because it's the matte paper, y'all. You see that. Scrapbook paper. And um, peeling that off. Going to get to a little tweezers. Going to try to slip it underneath that, that, that little center pocket thingy. So that it looks good -ish. I left the leaves on the sticker page because I can use those later and in fact I will use those later you just won't see that part where I use them but you'll see the end result mostly and that was a postcard piece and I thought well I don't want the whole thing I just want a little bit of it so I just used stop part because it's got the red uh, postage cancellation on it okay and we trim the sides off because, you know, when you cut it in half like that, you lose your bottom border. So, oh, and look at that, y'all. Fancy paper distressor. Thank you, secret internet admirer. I love it. And this thing, <laughs> I'm trying to open it, um, is a paper perforator. You roll it on there and it perforates. you got to push it a little bit harder than that. It's a little bit, okay, that's probably too much. But anyway, it's going to take the practice getting used to. It all depends on what kind of paper you're using on. So I'm trying to ink it so you can maybe see, maybe see where, where it perforated. And you can see probably where I, where I tore the perforation right there. And I'm like, well, that's fine. It's just more distressed, right? Which is hey, okay because, you know, we're going distressed. So we got coffee colored ink and black soot probably colored archival inks because you know I like the archival inks and um so I found some other stuff there was this stamp that just happened to be laying up here on my desk and I thought well that's gonna look good just because I liked it because you know we kind of got some post-it marks going post-stitch marks going on and we got you know a little travel-y kind of theme going on kind of and um we're just inking around different ephemera bits like i said i don't know necessarily where this came from use what you have you can use digitals you can use nothing you can use plain paper and because i'd folded the one in half i needed a paper clip i can't find my tainty tiny paper clips i don't know where i put them they were in a little baggie right here on my desk and now they're gone i don't know molly must have moved <laughs> she can't reach my desk anyway so uh this medium sized one i went ahead and punched out from scrap some uh hole reinforcers and now we're just adding a bit of red ribbon like i said i like the red shining through and uh it's kind of commonality color there y'all and a piece couple pieces of twine and we just you know did the little loop and slid it through the whole reinforcer and then brought the loose ends through the loop and now we're tightening each individual one carefully so we don't tear our holes now it's a little flippy flop okay a little different of a flippy flop so here's our first pocket era guy and this is a little uh fold over piece of ephemera i didn't have folded over i wanted to because i wanted another paper clip i wish i could find my little 
tanked. I'm going to have to order some more of them. Anyway, this is our envelope. And it tucks down in that bottom part, see? And look, it's got the little mini one. It's got a faux stamp and a faux tickety thing and another faux tickety thing. And look, there's some roses. How cute is that? So now we're going to set those up to the side. And now we got this next little pocket era. And some of these things have stuff on the back and some don't. And here comes our tag, which is the medium sized pocket thing. See all these turns and corners, y'all? I'm just, just saying, because it's a bunch of turns and corners. As far as I'm concerned, it meets the prompt criteria. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And we got that. Look at that. Ha! Ha! ha. Here comes a faux guest check. And a piece of whatever that was. And there's our finished pocket. All our stuff in it. Ta-da! Photo montage. If you have any questions, I will try to answer. Try to be Pacific as you can. In Atlantic Ocean. Or Pacific Ocean. Or the Indian Ocean. Or the Irish Ocean. Irish Sea. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Anyway, fun stuff. I try to do shorter videos for these open collabs, but this one, one just wasn't having it because there was a lot of turns and corners in this one. <laughs> so again, our prompt next month for September 17th will be Mind Your P's and Q's. In whatever fashion we will interpret that. Because, <laughs> you, know, you know, I know it's a lot of photos. Because, you know, I like the photo montage. <laughs> I'm just saying, again, a lot. So, we got what? A full, almost a full two minutes of photo montage. That's pretty fancy there, I'm just saying. Because it's pr pretty fancy, y'all. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Your kind comments, your likes, your shares, your interpretations of the prompt. Let me know. Tag me, y'all. That's at sign APG Jamie. All one thing, no spaces. Okay? On the YouTubes. Okay? Mm-hmm. And on, I don't know what it is on Instagram. <laughs> Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.